Hey y'all, my name is Leanne. I am a food blogger and a cookbook author. Um, I was gonna make this really awesome video, that was my intention, but um, sadly I am technologically challenged. And so the video that I made and planned out uh, was a total, total fail. In fact, I'm pretty sure my cat was laughing at me. So um, instead, I am just going to speak from my heart and I'm gonna do something that I actually do know about. Um, stick, I'm going to stick to frosting. So no bells, no whistles, and no laughing kitty cat. Um, just some sincerity and frosting. Um, outside of my normal nine to five job, I have been an event planner for several years. I also bake and decorate one of a kind celebration and wedding cakes. And in doing that, I get to see the look of joy on the guest of honor's face as they see that um, special cake or I get to hear the gasp of wonder as a happy couple walks into the room of their reception and and sees their fantasy come true um, but sadly there are so many who will never experience this type of joy or wonder um, there are kids in shelters who have never had a birthday cake let alone a birthday party there are women who've dreamed of a fantasy wedding all their lives but due to financial hardship they won't see their dream become a reality so wouldn't it be great if everyone could feel special and loved on regardless of their budget or challenges in their life situations this has been my dream for as long as i can remember i just never could figure out how i could make it happen I recently found an amazing turn-of-the-century building with an empty third floor. This would be the perfect space to bring to life. Um, it's got the original hardwood floors. It's beautiful space. Um, I would be able to use this as my residence, but also as a bakery with several ovens and a place to plan um, special events and weddings for those people that really deserve them, but just just can't afford to, to make those things happen. But I currently live in a neighborhood that does not allow me to, to do this, not in the way that I would like. Um, and I don't have the funds to purchase or to lease a second location to provide these services. So I need to find a place that I can both live and work in. And this building provides this opportunity. So with the help of some financial advisors who have a whole lot more sense than I do in this area, like I said, I'm sticking to frosting, but I've put together a very realistic plan um, that will, I, where I can sell my house, um, which should bring in about the same as the purchase price for the historic building. Um, the building currently has long-term tenants who really want to stay. Their lease payments will offset the mortgage completely. So my entire cost really is going to be in renovating that third story. So due to the age of the building, the renovation will be about $200,000. Now, $35,000 is the minimum amount that I would need for a down payment on the renovation. Of course, I'm hoping to raise much, much more. I spent a great deal of time praying about this idea. Um, it would be easier for me to stay where I am. Um, the building is an hour away from my normal nine to five job, which I absolutely have to keep in order to pay my personal debts and responsibilities. It will also take me 40 minutes away from my closest friends and my church. And I could certainly continue to make cakes and plan events where I am. I just can't do it to the degree that I feel I am being called to do. Last week I wrote this story for my project and in the story I mentioned a 16 year old who has never had a party. That night on my way home, I got a message from a friend who said, would I please um, help plan a special sweet 16 party for a girl who has never had a party in her life? Coincidence? I, I don't think so. The 35,000 minimum will be enough to get me started but the more money raised, the lower my monthly payments, and the more free or discounted events and cakes that I can provide. And this is where my heart is. I am praying for $275,000 so that after taxes and fees are deducted, there'll be enough to complete the entire renovation and I can devote my evenings and weekends to, weekends to making those who are so deserving the party or cake that will make them feel special that will let them know that they matter. And I can't do this without a whole lot of helping hearts. 
So please share this with everyone you know. Put it on Facebook, Twitter, any platform that you have. And please take another moment to read my project story. I share more details, and I also share my ultimate goal of turning the main floor into the Loving Cafe, a restaurant where everyone will be served, regardless of their ability to pay. Thank you so much for listening to me. I really appreciate you, and God bless you. Yum. <laughs>